Hi, welcome to Savenge Cow Part 4. Um, today's procedure I'm going to be discussing is called Reference Curve. And um, the Reference Curve is, uh, um, this is, this procedure is used to obtain curved data as either eastings and northings or distance and offset from a standard or simple curve. So if you've used RefLine before, you know exactly what this is, um, whereas a RefLine uses a straight line to get uh, eastings and northings or distance and offset data. Today we're going to be using a curve. And um, what I'm going to do is just explain a little bit about the curve before we go into the app. OK, this is a left hand curve. So if I was to uh, stand here at this point here, looking up chainage as the chainage increments in value all the way up here, the curve bends around to the left. So that is a left hand curve. Alternatively, if I was to stand there and the chainage was going up in increments in value, and the curve would be bending round to the right. That would be a right-hand curve. OK, but today we're going to be using a left-hand curve. So we're here at this point here looking up chainage and the curve is bending round to the left. Now, as far as offsets are concerned, if you're looking up chainage on the left-hand curve, offset left there um, for the app, as far as the app is concerned, would be put in as a minus value. So this is a 10 meter offset there from the uh, center line. So that would be minus 10. And alternatively, looking up chainage. And if it was a right hand uh, offset, it would be considered considered a positive value. So this would be just put in as a positive number. So that would be 10 meters there, 10 meter offset there. Um, just ignore these little bits going out here for the minute. Those, uh, those bits there are, are transitions. So that would be a transition into the curve and that would be a transition coming out of the curve. We're not, but we're not discussing that at the moment. OK, it's just just the, the bits in between these two lines that we're uh, concerned with, which is the uh, simple or standard curve. OK, we're just going to have, um, have, a, have a look at the app. So I'm just going to bring this up. OK, so we up there. We're going to uh, go down to uh, ref curve to here. And um, what we've got here, this is the data that we have to input here. BC East, BC North, that's the starting coordinates. EC East, EC North, that's the ending coordinates and the radius. So I'll just show you where we are here on the curve. So the beginning, beginning of the curve, which is BC, would be that point there. That would be the beginning of the curve. And the end of the curve would be this point here, right on the end there. So that would be, would be EC. And obviously the uh, the radius would be the springing point of the radius lines, which would be that point there. That would be the radius. So we just come back here. And we'll bring this back in here so we can see it. OK, now we're going to go back to the app. So I'm going to bring the app back. Now. I've already got the data that are already saved in here. What you can do is when you've got the data put in here, you can press save and call it up at another date. So it'll always be on your mobile device unless you put, press reset, then um, put some new data in there and save it. So you can always call it back up at another date. So I've already got it in there. I'm just going to call it up. OK, there's my starting coordinates. There's my ending coordinates. There's the radius and it's a left hand curve direction. The only thing it doesn't save is the procedure because that could change at any time. OK, so now the first thing I'm going to do is once I've got those those bits put in there before I do anything else, I'm just going to press calc. OK, and this is going to give me some uh, um, data that uh, that uh, these are these are some of the elements that make up the curve. There's there's the uh, radius coordinates there where the springing point of the radius is there. That's the long chord there. Now, the long chord is the uh, straight line distance from the beginning of the curve there, BC all the way to the uh, end of the curve there, EC. So that's a straight line distance. And then you've got the arc length, which is basically the uh, the uh, the distance of the curve where it curves around here. And um, that is the main curve angle. I'll show you what those are now. So if I just bring that down. So that, that's the arc length all the way around there, the distance around the arc. The main curve angle would be between the um, the two the beginning of the curve and the end, end of the curve. That's the where the angle would be in there, and the uh, straight line distance, the chord length would be from there to there as well. Okay, so that's that's what makes up the uh, makes up the curve. 
Right. Now, um, what we're going to do is we're just uh, we, we, we're going to stick some um, examples in there, example data. So I, I want distance and offset. So I want the distance um, from the beginning of the curve to a certain point and the offset to that point that on from what it is from the center line. So we're just going to uh, bring that down a bit. And we're going to come over here. And we're going to choose a point. I'm going to choose this point here because it's really close to the end there. And I can measure that with a straight line just to, just to check it because it doesn't make any difference. It's so close we can check it as a straight line. So let's have a look at that. Edit points there. So that's giving me the easterns and the northerns of that point there. So let's bring the app up. Oh, actually, I better copy that first. I'm going to click into there, click in again. Go copy. And I'm just going to paste that straight into there. Get rid of the meters and use it to zero there. Okay. Into the northern. Copy that. I'm going to paste that in. And get rid of those. I'm just going to press enter. And uh, that's given me the distance from the beginning of the curve there and the offset from the center line, which is zero. So it's on there. So we can we can just check that because it's so close. It won't make no difference if we make a straight line check. I'm going to click that, go into there. And there you go, 3.970. That's the distance around the curve. But like I say, it's so close, we can check it as a straight line. So that's that's basically what the distance and the offset is there, and uh, we we could do another one there. We could uh, um, we could do another check here. If we go edit points there, let's let's do another one. Okay, so I'm going to go in here, and copy that, paste it in there, get rid of those two little bits there. Copy that. Copy the northern. Put that there. Paste it in. Don't need those bits. Okay. And there you go. There's, it's, a, it's the same distance around the curve, but this time it's an offset, offset left, so it's minus 10. And we could do the same for the other side for the offset right, and that would um, uh, give us the distance and offset for the offset right. Okay. Uh, what we'll do is. Uh, I'll just show you the print now, okay? So now what happens is, is as you press enter, these are automatically cleared, so you can keep putting in values uh, to get to get the, the distance and the, the offset in there. So it just saves you um, clearing these. Now we go print, and there you go. That They'll all be listed for you um, down there in a nice list. So there's your distance, and there's your offset. So the first one was offset zero, then it was offset left, which was minus 10. Okay, both of them were the same distance around the curve. So we've got that, 3.970, okay. So um, let's just uh, we'll reset that, call up. Now we're gonna do easterns and northerns. So I know the distance of that is uh, 3.970, and we'll do an offset of zero. Count that, and then we'll uh, put that in. Press count first, of course. There's the data for the, uh, the curve, press enter, and there you go. There's the easterns and the northerns there for point one, which is that one there. Um, I think it's that one there, 649. Uh, I can't remember now. But anyway, that's that's for that one there. Then we're going to go uh, 3.970, uh, 3.970, and... The offset is uh, minus 10. And press enter. And there's the uh, distance. There's there's the um, 190651. Why am I getting those values? Oh, yeah, there we go. 190651.9. It, it, it sort of like rounds them up on there. But uh, if, we, uh, if we just have a look at that. Edit points there. Bring this back up. There we go. We've got 190651.934. There it is. Then uh, 
50596.633 and there you go there you go there that's for the uh, offset so basically that's that's how it works and if i uh, just go um print on here and there's the easterns and northerns there they'll just be all listed but down for you there and what you can do is with the print there is you can highlight those copy them and send uh, send those values out via your dev devices print uh by your device's share function so you can send it out as an email or you can bluetooth it to a to um a laptop and then um, put them into excel and and um, play around with them from there on so uh, basically folks that 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 is a uh, ref curve and um i put this in for a reason this is to uh, complement another procedure that i'll be putting in sometimes towards the end of the year so this needs to be here now so i'm going to get this in now I'll get this out and uh, it will be there ready for you to use. And that's it. That's RevCurve. Thank you very much.